So the um, culture I really wanted to investigate was Brazil. Um, the reason for this is whenever I was given this opportunity, um, I thought I would take advantage of it because uh, I happen to have a um, acquaintance and he is from Brazil and uh, he's someone that I used to do business with in my um, career before a teacher. And um, I always found him very interesting in, 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 in that. So, so that's why I chose Brazil. In doing my internet research to, um, to complete this assignment, I found this uh, cultural differences between countries, the Brazilian and the Chinese ways of doing business. And this particular research was done by Wuhan University. And um, it was done to uh, explain to each culture what would be the best thing for them to do in order to secure business. And as I read this particular um, research, it became evident to me that it would be invaluable to have that particular information if I ever had a Brazilian student in class. And, and you'll see that as we go forward here. Maybe. Okay, what fascinates me about Brazil is that most Brazilians speak Portuguese. My friend, his name is Larry Schmidt. He is from Brazil. He was born and raised in Brazil. His uh, uh, family, immediate family, mother and father, they are also from Brazil. So I just thought that Larry Schmidt did not sound much like a Brazilian name. Um, he, so that was another reason why I wanted to do this is because I thought that was very interesting to me. Um, they, um, while most of them speak Portuguese, and this is interesting because um, Spanish is the first language of most South American countries. So this is kind of um, a little different. Also, Brazil is a fantastic example of diversity, not only in its landscape, but also in its language and its culture. Speaking of diversity, while most Brazilians speak Portuguese, there are 3 million people who speak a dialect of German called Brazilian German. So my friend, Larry Schmidt, as come to find out, um, he, his family or, or forefathers, I guess you could say, immigrated from Germany to uh, Brazil um, many years ago. Uh, German is actually the second most spoken language in Brazil. And while Portuguese is the official language of Brazil, there are municipalities in Brazil that have their own official language. Most of these municipalities have some dialect of German as their official language. Um, again, this was interesting to me because we just don't see that much here, if at all, here in the States, like Cabot wouldn't have its own official Cambodian language. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Also, lastly, Brazil has the largest population of Japanese descendants aside from Japan itself. Therefore, Japanese is also a common language spoken in Brazil. The cultural values dimensions of Brazil uh, basically, what we're trying to find out here in the next couple of slides is the effect of that Bra the Brazilian culture has on its members, how the culture affects what Brazilians hold dear, what they value, what they rely upon, and how these cultural values relate to behavior. According to this research done by Wuhan University, there are two main things that stuck out to me. Members of the Brazilian culture do not adapt to change well, and they are adverse to taking risks. Also, the Brazilian culture is a collective one. This means that loyalty to the group is more important than society's rules. According to this research, they found that Brazil has a power distance in index of 69. Um, it's a masculine uh, index of 49. But what stood out the most was their uncertainty avoidance index of 76. What this means is that um, Brazilians do not like to take risk as a whole. 
um, they like things to be uh, in, in order. They value relationships as well. Brazilians value relationships. Um, therefore, how could I use this in my classroom? I could, uh, I need to establish good relationships with these students. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that I read in the research was that as it pertains to business, um, you would not want to uh, speed, go rush the, um, the honeymoon stage of the relationship. Uh, you would want to um, really lay down the groundwork of your relationship before you try to have a, a serious business relationships with them. So I could use that research as it pertains in my classroom. I kind of understand now that if I had a Brazilian student, I would really need to um, make sure that I was working on the relationship end of, um, of my uh, time with them. Um, also, Brazilians value face-to-face -face contact. This really made me think about how my uh, possible Brazilian students probably would not do well in a digital learning environment. So I would need to find ways to reach out to them and somehow uh, foster that face-to-face -face contact that we would not be able to have in a digital learning environment. Um, again, Brazilians are a group culture. And so um, what the research found is that it was very important not to um, cause a, a member of this culture to lose face. I would not want to do anything to embarrass any student, but especially a student from a group culture, I would need to uh, make sure that I'm avoiding putting them in any embarrassing situations. And then finally, Brazilians value informal communication. Therefore, I could expect that a Brazilian student uh, may forget to raise his hand or disregard other such protocol in the classroom.